Letters of Patriarch Ying Guang. Preface. After the demise of the historical Buddha, his teachings spread in two main directions: southward, that is Theravada tradition, and eastward into China, Vietnam, Korea, Japan, that is Mahayana tradition. In East Asia. These teachings developed into ten different schools, several of which remain important to this day: Zen, Tantric, and Pure Land. Pure Land is by far the most widespread form of Buddhism in East Asia. All these schools teach the same basic truth: Do not what is evil. Do What is good? Keep the mind pure. True to this spirit, the Pure Land approach is simple and straightforward. Through mindfulness of the Buddha, that is, Buddha recitation, the practitioner can calm his mind and achieve samadhi and wisdom. Thus, reborn in the Pure Land, that is, in his pure mind. He will eventually attain Buddhahood. This is also the core teaching, the very essence of Zen and all other Mahayana schools. As D. T. Suzuki has pointed out, the psychological effects of the repetition of the holy name are close to the effects of Zen meditation. This, notwithstanding. The main emphasis of the Pure Land school lies elsewhere. Pure Land provides a safety net, a refuge of last resort for everyone, through the compassion of Amitabha Buddha, through his vows. Taken together, these two concepts of the Pure Land, as mind, and as a transcendental land, within the reach of all men. The deliverance taught by Shakyamuni. But why do we have to purify the mind and seek deliverance? It is because, in the wasteland of birth and death, subject to the three poisons of greed, anger, and delusion, we all undergo suffering. The ultimate suffering being, of course, death. Echoing this conclusion, a well-known American professor made his observation about the motivation of Western Buddhists. Probably, the majority of non-Orientals who become practicing Buddhists do so because of an overriding need for relief from suffering. Sometimes the suffering is physical, but more often it is emotional. And often psychosomatic. The individual practicing meditation, chanting, or any kind of Buddhist self-cultivation is motivated by a need for symptomatic relief, mitigation of anxiety and depression, reduction of hostility. This is precisely why Buddha Shakyamuni. When preaching the four noble truths to Kaudinya and his friends, taught them first the truth of suffering. The letters of Master Ying Guang address this issue squarely. If you are suffering, and if you realistically discover that you have only average motivation, fortitude, and self-discipline, then Pure Land is for you. Pure Land is about suffering and the liberation from suffering. This book consists of excerpts of selected letters by the Patriarch Ying Guang. Each letter can be considered a unit in itself. Please note that in this text, the expressions Buddha recitation and Buddha's name refer specifically. To Amitabha Buddha. Here, then, 
are the letters of the patriarch Ying Guang. We hope the Western reader will enjoy and benefit from them, as several generations of Eastern readers have. As a Zen master has written in another context, read them once, read them twice, and look for the same thing that Bodhidharma brought to China. Look for the print of the mind.